Hello everyone, Sumeru just dropped and you probably already have Kale or you will have her very soon by doing the event. So here is a quick guide with how to get all the farming materials as fast as you can to level her up as much as you can in these first days. The materials that we will need to level Kale and her talents up are Dendro Gemstones, Jade Plums, Terra Strong Drop, Rukashava Mushrooms, Teachings of Praxis, Raiden Shogun's Drop, and Sharp Arrowhead. Let's talk about each one of these. So, starting with Dendro Gemstones, you will naturally not have any Dendro Gemstones right now, but what you can do is you can head up to the alchemy table and you can convert your Geo, um, Hydro, Pyro gems into the Dendro gems using this little powder. You probably have it. If you don't have this little powder, you can buy it on the shop with your Stardust, but you probably have some because we usually get those from the events that we play. Second material is the Jade Plum's Terror Shroom Drop. So to get to the Jade Plum, is you just need to come over here near this teleport point and to the right side of the Fatui Camp, you will find a little, kind of like a cave and in there you can apply Electro to the mushroom that is surrounded by the enemies, jump on the mushroom, use the golden hook, grab the portal, you will be teleported right in front of the boss, so it's super easy. Don't forget to activate the teleporter before you leave, so it's easier for you to come back and farm this boss. The J Plum's Terror Shroom is really, really easy. Um, I don't really have any tips in particular, because he doesn't seem to have any specific mechanic, like uh, like the Regis Vine have the cores. Or killing it is really, really easy. The next material is this Rukashava Mushrooms, and they are actually a little bit scarce, so if you really want to level up Kale to the max today, you will need to visit your co-op friend, because your world just doesn't seem to have enough mushrooms to level her up to the max today. I don't know how long it will take to respawn, could be every two days, could be every day, it's not really certain yet. The main places that I found Rakashava mushrooms were here, here, and here. They are a little bit spread out, you will need to have a look. Um, you can also use the Genshin Impact interactive maps around the web. There are many websites that do this and you can easily find the exact spots where the mushrooms are. But do keep in mind that there is a lot of verticality in Sumeru, so sometimes it may be tagged but could be up or down. The next material is the Teachings of Praxis. So do spend your condensed resin today on the Teachings of Praxis, because today is the day of the domain, as long as with Saturday and Sunday. It's overall pretty easy as well, at least in my opinion, this party that I'm using is not leveled up at all. Only Kazuha, and they did a good job, that was really quick. It's just a bunch of the new Ruin enemies, and just remember that the Ruin Gods have resistance against physical damage and some elemental damage, so yeah, just keep that in mind before entering the domain. The next material that you need is the Raiden Shogun's Drop. That's from the weekly boss that you're doing in Azuma, so if you haven't been doing those, you can only do it once a week. If you don't have this specific drop, the tier one, you can go to the alchemy table and convert from other drops into this drop. And the last material is the sharp arrowhead. This one you should have loads, especially if you do the daily commissions every day. But if you're kind of new to the game, the sharp arrowhead is uh, any helitro that uses a bow will drop that sharp arrowhead. But do keep in mind that the lower your world level, the less the chances of you getting. So you may need to farm those quite a little bit. The better place for farming sharp arrowhead, at least in my past experience, has been the Dalpa Gorge, because you have the free helitro areas, and that's perfect for someone who just got started. Mondstadt is an you know unlocked area, so you can just head over there and try to farm the sharp arrowheads. If you're interested in tutorials and guides on Sumeru and the 3.0 update in general, then do keep a look at the channel because I will be posting lots of videos. I am playing non-stop. I am really excited. I'm absolutely loving Sumeru so much. So I'll try to make as many videos as I can to try to help you guys with all the puzzles and the story quests and the world quests and so on. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!